Tips for writing a TEFL or TESOL resume or curriculum vitae. Personal details. There is no need to give your marital status or the number of children you have here. Just your name, DOB, nationality, and contact information is sufficient. Bear in mind that the funny email address you use with your friends and family is probably not appropriate for your CV. It is easy to create a free email address to use solely when applying for jobs, and using one based on your name is a good idea. Objective Make sure that you include a clear objective. This will necessarily change as your career advances and will also need to be adapted to suit the country or city you are planning to teach in. Education and training Ideally, your CV should only be one page, but if it is more than this, make sure that all the information a potential employer is looking for is clearly visible on the first page. This should include your teaching qualifications, degree, and any teaching-related experience you have. Employment history. Keep the information in your CV relevant to the job you are applying for. Potential employers are not going to be interested in the summer job you had sweeping the floor of the local supermarket. You should only provide a description of your job if it involved teaching-related experience, such as training, mentoring, or it was a position of authority. In general, you don't need to go back further than five or six years unless you have been with the same company for some time or the jobs were relevant to teaching. Additional skills. Check for incorrect spelling and grammar. This is true for all CVs, but it is especially important if you are applying for a job as an English teacher. Even the smallest error will see your CV tossed aside. Check your CV twice and ask someone else to read it for you. Choose one font for the whole document and stick to it. Using different fonts for headings, different sections and so on looks messy and unprofessional. Choose a font that is plain and easy to read. Overly ornate or handwriting stuff fonts make the page too busy and difficult to read. Avoid the use of all capitals. They look ugly and large blocks of capitalized text are difficult to read. If you want to emphasize a heading, use bold instead. Everybody wants their CV to stand out from the crowd. But for the majority of TEFL jobs, going wild with the color palette is not advisable. Highlighting your qualifications and experience is a better way to make your CV grab an employer's attention than having your name in rainbow letters emblazoned across the top.